Hey Divination, welcome to our mini series 5 creative ways on how to style the Divi's post slider module. In this mini series we take 5 different blog post sliders from popular blogs around the web and show you how to recreate them using Divi. The goal of this mini series and all our mini series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will help you improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. Today I'll be walking you through a tutorial written for Elegant Themes by John Donnellan. So in this tutorial we'll be trying to recreate this post slider which we can find on designmilk.com. So this is the slider we're going to create. You can, as you can see, and when you put your mouse over it, you can actually click and cycle through to the next image. It's nice, it's minimal, and it looks very, very close to what we have here on Design Milk. But before we get started, we need to have a few things in place. So we're going to need three images. Now these three images are going to go onto the post that we're going to create, and they need to be 800 by 600 pixels. And the second thing is the CSS code. Now this CSS code will be on the blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. All right, so let's get started and let me show you how we managed to create this look. So to get started, what you need to do is to log into your WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to add three posts. So I'm gonna go to post and then click on add new. So we're gonna give this a title of post slider one. And then we're gonna paste some uh, dummy text from Lorem Ipsum. And we're also gonna do the same on the accept. And then here, this, is, this stage is very important. We need to add a featured image. So I'm gonna click on set featured image. Now I have my image um, in, my Im in my media library. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and then set as featured image. Okay, so once we're done with that, just click on publish and then move on to the second one. So I'm gonna click on add new. And this one is going to be called Post Slider 2. I'm going to paste the text and also in the excerpt and set the um, featured image and then click on publish. And then we're going to add the last one. So the reason why we're adding three images is the slider won't really work if you have one image. So just to balance it out, I've used three images. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. So next, what we need to do here is to create a new page. So I'm gonna go to pages, add new, and I'm gonna call this page post slider. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on use the Divi builder. And this time we're gonna use the visual builder. So I'm gonna click on that. So here in the Visual Builder, you need to go all the way down here to these expand settings and we need to use a predefined layout. So I'm going to click on this plus button. So here on the predefined layout, I'm going to choose the page with the right sidebar. So I'm going to click on uh, the predefined layout. We need to delete this text module and replace that with a post slider. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the row and then I'm going to click this plus button and add a single row, which will have a post slider, like that. So as you can see, it's now populated with the post that we created earlier on, but we need to make a few changes. So here, what we need to do is to just define the post, uh, the post number. So in this case, we have three. We don't need to worry about the categories because I haven't added these posts into categories. We need to scroll down until we get to this show post meta. So as you can see here, uh, this slider is too crowded. So what I'll do is disable the show post meta. So now you can see it's a bit clean, which is really good. And next, change the text color to dark. So here we've got it as light. So I'm just going to change that to dark. The image placement needs to be set to left because right now it's in the background. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Now we need to go into the design settings. So in the design settings, we need to add a padding top of 50 pixels and a padding bottom of 40. And then next we need to go to the um, 
arrows custom color we need to change that to white and then we need to change the color here on the dot nav custom color to black and then scroll down a bit and then here on the header font we need to make sure that it's all caps and also we need to reduce the size to about 25 pixels so right about there now we need to style this button. So in order to do that, we need to scroll all the way down here and then activate the use custom styles for button. Okay, so now we have the opportunity to customize the colors. So first of all, let's start with the uh, button text size. So right now it's on 20. We need to bring it down to about 15, like that. And then the button text color needs to be set to black. The border width needs to be one pixel. And then the button border radius needs to be set to zero. Now this allows us to have this rectangle shape. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Next, we need to go on now to, onto the CSS tab and make some changes there. So the first thing we need to do here is to add the CSS ID. Now let's start adding the uh, CSS code into the relevant boxes. So let's start off with the main element. So I'm going to paste. So as I'm pasting this code, you can see it's updating it live. So next we need to go onto the slide title and enter the code like that. Okay, so um, we are done with the CSS here. Next, what we need to do is to save or publish this page and add some more CSS code. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish. So the CSS code we need to add needs to go on the theme options. So we need to go to our admin dashboard and then come all the way down here to Divi theme options. And then in the general settings, what you need to do is to scroll all the way down until you see this custom CSS. So this is where you need to paste the final code to make this work. So I've just entered the code here. Let me just expand this so you can see the code. So that's all the code that we've entered. And then we need to click on save changes. So now that we've saved the changes, we need to take a look and see if the slider is now working. So what I've done here is I've opened the page in a new tab and I've got it right here. And we can see that the slider is looking really nice. So it's all working. If I click on these arrows, you can see it cycles through to the next image. So that does it for this quick tip. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We are producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thank you for watching and see you soon.